guys, this is Jamin with Point Tech. We're bringing you another laptop do-it-yourself repair video. Today we're working on an HP Chromebook and we're addressing the issue uh, if your Chromebook will not uh, reset or if you cannot power wash it. It's the same function, it's just referred to both ways. So if you tried to power wash your Chromebook, if you tried to reset it and it's not taking, we're going to show you three different ways uh, you can uh, make it uh, reset and you can accomplish that. So the first way to uh, reset your HP Chromebook is referred to as a, as a, as a front end, end method. It's uh, you may have Googled it and found out that if you can go Control Alt Shift R, that will reset your Chromebook. So, uh, so I'll show you here. If you hit Control Alt Shift R all at once, like it tells you to do, sometimes nothing happens. Uh, so what we have found in our shop is even though a lot of people are under the uh, impression that hitting all four of those keys at once will initiate a reset. We have found you have to do one at a time in order, um, ending with all being pressed at once. So I'm going to do Control, Alt, Shift, R. And as you can see, that initiates the reset, uh, which is the front end or, or the first way you would do it. So hopefully it's a simple issue like that and that works for you. However, if it's not, uh, the second way that we're going to show you how to do it, we're going to go through the back end. Uh, we're going to initiate a, a reset that way. We're going to hit the escape key, the refresh key, which is an arrow in the shape of a circle, and then your power button. I'm going to hold all three down at once. The computer's going to shut off. And then as it starts back up, I'm going to let go. Uh, some models of computer, you'll have to hit all three, let go, it'll shut off. Then you hit them again, it'll turn on, and you let go. Um, so it, it, it may be one of those two ways, but this one, escape, refresh, power, off. Okay, so I have to release it, then do it again, escape, refresh, power, and it comes back on. Okay, so this will bring you to this screen. Now, to pause the second method we're showing you for a second, we're going to describe the third method to you real quick. Uh, because you need the information on this screen in order to do that third method. Uh, the third method involves getting a USB stick or a flash drive, plugging it into another computer, and from that other computer putting in this URL, this web address here. Uh, after going there, you will select the option for recovery software or for reinstalling your operating system. Follow the command prompts. It's very easy, very user-friendly to follow. When you're done, you take that flash drive, you put it back into your Chromebook, and it will automatically start reinstalling your operating system. Again, very easy, very user-friendly, so that, that won't be too hard to follow at all. Uh, but yes, that's the third method. So going back to what we're showing you now, the, the second method, once you're on this screen, you'll see it says Chrome OS is missing or damaged. We're going to hit Control D. Changes screen, it says to turn OS verification off, press enter. We're going to hit enter. OS verification off, press space to re enable. So we'll hit space. And then we'll confirm. Press enter to confirm uh, you wish to turn OS on verification. So we'll hit enter to confirm. Okay, so now the system's going to reboot, it's going to reset, um, it's going to power wash. So uh, that's the back end method of resetting it when the first one wouldn't work and then we showed you the USB stick option going to that URL. So hopefully this helps you out. If for whatever reason you get stuck, if these are not responding the way you saw here, please let us know. We'll answer your question. We'll help you through what you're going through. Uh, please like and share if this was helpful. And uh, if you enjoy do-it-yourself laptop repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.